Hey friends, I'm on vacation in Florida and I just thought I would hop on here and um, paint for a little bit because I'm actually going to be doing a, this is a weird angle, I'm sorry, I don't have my tripod with me so I've just got my phone propped up, but um, I'm actually going to be doing a paint party here in Florida with um, the community that we're staying in. It is kind of like a um, a senior living retirement community. There's over 600 homes in this community and they have like a little um, recreation center where they do classes like pottery and all kinds of fun stuff. So some of the ladies in the park here have asked me to do um, a Facebook Live or not a Facebook Live. I'm sorry, I've got Facebook Live on the brain. They asked me to do a paint party while I'm here. So I brought a bunch of cutouts with me, but um, many of the people here haven't even ever heard of me or what I do or most of them don't even know what a door hanger is, believe it or not, because um, apparently door hangers are a southern thing. Have y'all heard that before? <laughs> uh, but people from up north don't know what door hangers are, so I kind of have to explain that it's kind of like something decorative you hang on your door instead of a wreath. And so um, I'm painting, I've been painting three of these to kind of show as examples. Hang on, I'll show you one. Let me grab it. Here's the first one that I did. It's a pineapple. And so they can put their monogram or whatever right here. Merry Christmas, Libby. Oh, happy vacation. Thank you. Vacations are fun. We're actually going to be here for almost two weeks. So um, the paint party is going to be next Tuesday afternoon in the recreation hall. So hopefully we have a lot of people sign up and um, it'll be lots of fun. And then I'm also doing a flower, which I'm going to add some more details to that one in a few minutes. Hey, Debbie. And then I'm doing one like this you know, this shape, and I'm going to be doing a pattern on it. I probably won't do any words on this video because, <clears throat> sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Hey, Kristen. Oh, yes, I love the pineapple too, Heather, um, because uh, some of the people that may not be able to come to the, the paint party may want to buy one of these, and so I want to leave them open for personalization since they're not specifically for anyone. I'm not going to put any words on them, but this uh, stencil is the quatrefoil stencil. As you can see, it's been used like a million times. Hey, Terry Ann. Ter terrain. Is that right? Ter Ain? Terrain? Did I say it right? It looks like Terry Ann. Te no, I see terrain. Okay. I mean, if I don't look closely enough, it looks like it's spelled Terry Ann, but it's terrain. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> So if you want a stencil like this, I sell the stencils on my website or um, you can buy the cut files. If you if it, Did anybody get a Cricut for Christmas or a cutting machine like a Silhouette? If you did, you can, you can actually use your machine to cut out stencils like this on your machine. You buy a special kind of stencil material. Good, I said it right. Libby, enjoy Florida at 16 degrees. Yes, I've been worried because... Um, it's really cold. I hope we don't go home till like our pipes busted or anything. My sweet neighbor has gone over to my house to make sure that uh, the pipes, like that all the water's out of the pipes and she shut off because I mean, we didn't do any of that before we left. I never dreamed it would get that cold in Kentucky, but um, I mean, I knew it would, but I didn't think it would get that cold that quick. Cause like last week it was like in the thirties and forties. So um, she has been taking precautions at my house to try to make sure that our water pipes don't freeze. Hey, Patty. That's okay. Patty, I'm actually painting a frame, and I know it's hard to see, but I don't have my um, tripod with me. I didn't bring it to Florida. Melissa, you finally caught me live. Hey, what's the weather like in South Carolina? Negative. Oh, negative 16. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Well, it's not that cold in Kentucky, but it's cold enough that, like, our dog's water bowl and stuff is freezing over, and so... Um, my sweet mother-in-law is going to go pick one of those water bowls up that's heated and take it to the house and plug it in and stuff like that for the dogs. So hopefully everything's going to be all right. But I didn't realize it was supposed to get that cold. It's raining there. Well, it's beautiful here. Um, sun's shining and I think it's supposed to get up to 80 something today. Of course, we are pretty far south. We're near Fort Myers, so um, the weather is quite a bit warmer down here. But anyways, like I was saying, these stencils, um, you can either buy the stencil directly from me or you can buy the cut file for like $5. And if you got a cut machine, like I'm sure some of you guys got one for Christmas, you can cut these out with your cutting machine. If you're not sure what kind of um, plastic to buy or what kind of stencil material, check, um, I think I have it in my resource list on my website. Um, and it'll be a link to Amazon showing you where to go buy it. 32 inches in Alabama. Oh, oh no, 32 degrees. I need to look closer. Whew, 
wind chills 22. Hey, Allison, watching me paint, hoping your daughter finishes. Oh, goodness. Don't hold your breath. Anyways, like I, if you missed the beginning of the video, I was telling everybody I'm painting a few things kind of as examples to hang up in the recreation hall here um, because we're going to be doing a paint party next Tuesday. And a lot of people down here don't even know what door hangers are. So mm -hmm. I thought if they saw them, they might kind of, it would kind of click. Oh, okay. And they understand what it is. We got to start converting these people and teaching them about door hangers. <laughs> Shh. Can't Patty. Hold it. Well. You need to chew quieter or they're going to hear you eating your grilled cheese. My done. son's behind the camera here eating his I'm grilled cheese. Done. Amanda, you're entertaining the baby while... Oh. <laughs> Does the baby like watching me paint? Uh, my two-year-old loves watching people on videos on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. She Her favorite app, though, is Snapchat. She'll say, I want to see the faces, which means she wants to get on there and put all the filters on her face. And she thinks it's really fun. And she loves to watch, like, the saved snaps. Like, I'll save some funny ones. And she loves to go back and watch those over and over. <laughs> She's actually taking a nap right now. She's worn out. We played in the pool yesterday. And, of course, it was a 14-hour drive down here. And so she's still recovering from that. Melissa, who doesn't know about door hangers? I know, right? Door hangers are life. Everybody needs to know. And what's funny is, is like, I think I've heard somebody say that like the mason jar door hangers, nobody up north wants those. Like they don't understand why you would do a jar as a door hanger. <laughs> like, eh, it's a southern thing. They probably don't have cotton on their doors either though. I should have worn the shirt I got for Christmas. It says something about the south right here on the back. It says, sweet tea goes with everything and nobody eats tea, say amen. I've actually done a sign like that before. It was like when I very first started my business. And it said that. It's one of my favorite sayings. Okay, so the color I used was Laguna. That's this turquoise. And if you didn't know, turquoise and red accent each other perfectly, like they go really good together. So you just paint right on top here with a sponge. And then you just peel it up. How pretty. And there might be a place or two that I need to touch up. Like, sorry about that, I started getting a phone call. Um, see, there's a couple places where it's a little fuzzy, so I may take a brush and just touch those places up. And um, normally, you need to like wash this off in between, but I'm going to cheat and see if I can uh, just lay it back down to finish out a couple of these spots on the side where the design didn't go all the way to the edge because my stencil's not quite big enough. So, um, it's easier if you wash it in between. That way, you don't risk transferring the paint or messing anything up but I'm risky like that. <laughs> okay, so I patched this corner. I've just gotta patch the corner down here at the bottom. Becky, your sponge looks so good. You bleed terribly. Oh no, I don't know. I'm, I just try to apply it thin, if that makes sense. Like, cause if you apply it, apply it too thick or too heavily, um, it still bleeds pretty bad. And I just try to dab, dab, dab and get it on there in a nice thin coat and then peel it up. Okay, yay. I think there's a couple spots down here in the bottom that need to be touched though. See, this kind of missing some of the pattern at the bottom. Let me see. If you haven't used stencils like this to paint, it's life changing. Like it's so fun to do all the different patterns. Um, if you guys have any ideas for some new patterns, I need to create some new stencils. Like I haven't created any new um, pattern stencils in a couple or three months. So if you guys think of any that you kind of maybe you've been wanting, let me know and I will create those and get them put on my website because I've been needing to do that. Not to mention I love new ideas and I love taking new stencils to my paint parties. Okay, I touched up this top part. That looks better. Kind of goes up next to the red. Now I need to do the top. This stencil is pretty big. This one is like 17 and a half inches across and like 12 inches tall, but this door hangers like 20 or 22 inches long. So it doesn't quite go from side to side. So I usually just try to start like in the top left corner. That way I only have to fill in one side, but I really didn't do a very good job at that this time. I should have, I was too busy talking and not paying attention to what I was doing. 
So I'm having to touch up like all the way around. Okay, there we go. Let me set this to the side. Somewhere it's not gonna mess anything up. I've got an old shower curtain on the table to keep paint from getting on the table. Your stencils never come out that nice. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, unicorn, that would be cool. Do you mean a unicorn template? Or like a unicorn stencil like what I just did? Which if you look up close, this isn't perfect. Like, let me get you close. See, it's still, well, let me find the edge, sorry. It's still got some spots that aren't um, perfectly crisp, but it's a lot, oh crap, we're upside down. <laughs> but, um, you know, from a distance, like if you are hanging on your, on your door, you're not gonna really notice all of those little imperfections. Like you're gonna look at it from here and it looks great. So don't worry too much about it. Catching me on the lunch break, Barbie. Well, I shouldn't be on here too long because I'm just gonna finish up um, just like the details on this door hanger. Like I'm gonna do a black outline and um, maybe add a little bit to this flower over here. So we'll see. <clears throat> I didn't bring all of my paint supplies or all of my ribbon. I just brought like the, the essentials because we were traveling and I knew I wouldn't have a ton of room in the car to bring everything. So I'm working with bare bones materials here. Um, something I was talking about while ago, I didn't finish my thought, was that colors that coordinate like uh, red and turquoise if you remember, like when you were in elementary school in your art class, did they talk about complimentary people? To keep, people keep trying to call while I'm um, doing a Facebook Live. Um, if, they, if they talked about complimentary colors and stuff like that, uh, on the color wheel, if you Google a color wheel, the colors that are opposite, on the opposite sides of the color wheel are complementary colors. So they will look good and complement one another. So those are, that's kind of a good thing to use in a reference when you're choosing paint colors for a door hanger. So like red and green, obviously for Christmas, they complement one another. And um, uh, purple and yellow, um, help me think of some more. <laughs> but just like colors that are opposite on the color wheel really complement one another. So this red and turquoise looks fabulous together. And that black outline that I just did really helps um, tie it all together and kind of anchors it so that it's not, I don't know, it just gives it some depth. Like even though these are bright, pretty colors, the, the black just really helps give it some depth. And this is just random little white accents around the outside to kind of make it look like lights bouncing off of it. If your tent pattern in here is really um, not perfect, like you said, and you're worried about that, what you could do to kind of busy it up is take a little bit of white and just accent like on the left and on the left of each or the right, whichever, just kind of on the same side so that it looks like the light is bouncing off the pattern. And this busies it up just a little bit so you don't notice as many imperfections. And I'm just doing like a really light little squiggly uh, pattern or whatever on the edge of this pattern. Is anybody watching for the first time? I got a lot of new Facebook likes this past week. That Christmas tree video that I did got a lot of new people coming to my page, so it was kind of cool. I think it's up to like 29,000 views now or something crazy like that. It was weird because my page was stuck for like a week or two and I didn't get hardly any new likes. I mean, it was just one or two here or there. And then all of a sudden that video kind of took off and I got so many views and got a bunch more likes. So there you go. See how that busies it up a little bit? So you don't really notice any imperfections. <laughs> Make this look easy. Let me show you up close again, kind of what I mean. Like if you look at these little marks, they do not look perfect, but see how they're all on the same side. So that's what kind of makes it look like the lights bouncing off of it. Hi, Vicki from Florida. It's wet and rainy. Well, I must be further south because it's not wet and rainy here. It's beautiful. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do anything else to this one because like I said, I wanna be able to keep it open for personalization. But this flower here, I did Laguna and then Key West for the polka dots and Bright Magenta, I believe, for the pink. And so I think I kinda wanna add some lime green. So I'm gonna add some of this Kiwi green and um, just do some accents real quick with it. Now the brush I'm gonna use for this, I want a big thick one. It's gonna be a round tip brush. So it's like this, round. Um, but it's a, Grandma, your phone's ringing. It may be mom trying to get a hold of me. You can tell her I'm doing a video. I'll be off in just a minute. Um, but this one's a size 11. And see, it's nice and thick, like compare it to my finger, how thick that is. So this is gonna hold a lot of paint. If you wanna know what brushes I recommend, I don't have these specific brushes, but I have some very similar to it on my um, website under the resource list. I guess you guys can't really see what I'm doing. I was gonna kinda do like a little swirly majig, which is hard to do while I'm holding it at this angle, so let me stand up. I'm gonna just swirl it and then I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit because see the paint's still kind of dragging and not thick enough. So let me see if I can thicken this up a little bit. If you're doing a big swirl like this, I don't know which way you guys find it easier to do, but I find it easier to start on the outside and swirl inward. It gets smaller as you go in. <clears throat> this color is called Key West. Or no, 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 not Key West, Kiwi. Okay, so we got a fun little lime green swirl in the middle. And then you're gonna take the same brush and just do like a little outline around each of the petals. This is so bright and colorful. It's fun to paint colors like this in the winter time because you're kind of tired of everything uh, wintry and Christmassy. And so it's fun to do something for summer or for Florida rather. Okay, so see that just added a cute little accent and then I'm gonna do the same thing in black. And rinse my brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing in black, not exactly on top of, but close to the lime green. What? No, it's too big. It's too big. They won't let you put it in the pool. Okay. And then, let me show you what that looks like. So see that just added some depth to the outside of the flower. And then for the inside part, I'm just gonna take this same brush and just kind of do a wiggly whimsical outline. Kind of like Rick Rack. There we go. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Okay, the final thing that I want to do is you really enjoy watching the videos. Thank you, Melody. That would be pretty, ew, you're right, Lisa, that would be cute in a little girl's room. Um, this is a round brush, the number's missing, so I'm not sure what number it is, but it's a lot skinnier. And I'm gonna get some white, and I'm just gonna do little accents on each of these polka dots to kind of make them brighten up. Okay, honey, okay, baby's up from her nap. Hi, darling. Hang on, I'm almost done. Of course, she gets up and wants mama to hold her. Hang on, I'm almost done with this. Go sit with grandma. Okay, so I added some little white accents to all of the little polka dots, like that. And it just kind of brightens the polka dots up. It might be hard to see in the video. Okay, Heather, you couldn't find the stencil material info in the resources. Oh, you may, I may not have put it on there, Heather. I will go and add that this afternoon if I don't forget. So if I forget, send me a message and remind me. Um, but I know the link for sure is in, like if you go to one of the stencil cut files in my shop, scroll down to the description and you can copy and paste the link from there into your browser. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of white 
on top of this key lime uh, swirl to kind of just make it pop a little bit more. I'm not outlining it perfectly, just highlighting it. Okay, let me show you. See, just kind of made it pop a little bit more. Thank you, Brienne. Okay, I'm not gonna put a letter on this. If I add a letter later, like if somebody buys it, I'll snap a picture of it and show you guys like on my page some other time. But I'm gonna get off here and um, probably take these up to the, um, what do you call it? Wheeler Hall, it's like a um, recreation building and hang them up. So maybe some people will wanna do our paint party next week. Libby, do you cut out all of your signs? How long does it take you to cut and sand your signs? Well, Libby, yes I do. Um, these days though, I have been paying somebody to cut them out for me because I'm so busy painting and that's been fun. But for the first two years I did cut out and I still do cut out on occasion these by myself. Um, if I'm just doing one, to be honest, it would probably not take me five minutes to cut and sand. <clears throat> now I do have to draw it out ahead of time, which takes another couple of minutes, but top finish to start probably 10 minutes for one door hanger if I had to just do one. If I was doing a bunch, um, I can probably cut and sand like 30 of them in an hour and a half maybe. So um, I've gotten pretty fast, but when I first started doing all of this, it would take me like two hours just to do 10. So if you're just starting out, don't get discouraged at how long it's taking you. Just keep at it because I promise you're gonna get faster. Oh, thank you, Sonia. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna hop off here and go enjoy my vacation. And uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure and do so because I'm posting little updates in my stories as to what we're up to every day. So, what kind of wood? Um, Whitney, that is on the resource list on my website. So go to southernadornmentsdecor.com and at the top, click the resource list button and it'll show you the exact kind that I use. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.